right, so this is Lenovo Think Center M17Q, the semi all in one PC. So, today I'm going to show you in this video how to reinstall Windows in legacy environment. All right, by the way, this machine is capable to take both Lenovo uh, M17Q, would take UEFI legacy, both of them. All right. So first of all, you need to turn off the machine and turn it on and keep pressing enter button to get into interruption, which one would give you privilege to get into many options like F1 to get into BIOS F10 to diagnostic hardware. But anyway, we'll press F1. And once you press F1, it's going to take you directly to the BIOS setup utility which is that one as you can see right here then if you take the right arrow you're going to find device menu and USB support option the top one make sure that is enabled and USB legacy support has to be enabled and as you can see rest of them most of them enable is absolutely fine and then if you go to advanced mode there is nothing then power also should be as usual similar to it and then if you go to startup option there are many changes you must need to check boot mood there is auto uefi legacy so we're going to do auto and boot priority should be legacy first because we are doing in legacy environment so make sure you do that and the top one you can leave auto which is boot mode or you can do legacy and then there is nothing else to change you just need to save it and exit and then again we're going to interrupt by entering the enter button okay or pressing the enter button and once you do that you, it's going to give you option as i said like before so let's see what happened yep press f tool to get into temporary startup devices and from here I can see my Philips USB flash drive which is bootable as you can see the light also flashing and we can see the Windows logo setup logo in there which one confirm the startup process was absolutely fine the way we want it all right so it's going to take a little bit of time it depends on the speed and everything from here it's pretty simple everybody knows what to do you just need to choose the language and install and then time and currency and pretty much that's all and then accept the terms and condition but sometimes in this step it takes little bit of time to get the setup process so now if you want to do the clean installation you have to delete everything so example as you can see there are two drives i'm going to select the small one which is ssd and the big one is uh, 2.5 inch set of hard drive in there okay so I'm going to hit next and it will start the process.
All right, so there is one point I need to clear out. Sometimes with this model, whenever it goes to 100%, it keeps coming back to the same page that we were at the beginning. All right, so example, now as you can see Windows logo, it's supposed to start up from the actual internal SSD or hard drive where we install the partial software by the way. But can you see the USB is flushing? That's mean now it's gonna load up once again from the beginning. All right. So if it does happen, don't be surprised. It does happen. I would show you how to skip it. Can you see that? It's same page. All right. So in that point, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna hit on next. I'm gonna cross it and then I will try to exit it. And then temporarily I will go to the temporary boot option and select the actual internal drive manually. So once you cancel, say yes, and then keep pressing enter button to get into the temporary BIOS option. And from here we're gonna press F10 and from there we're gonna go into the legacy. Can you see M.2, the drive, not the USB? Once I choose manually, it's going to start up. And as you can see, the USB was not connected, but still you can see the boot logo. And after that, we can reconnect the USB in case if there is any file or anything uh, which one required by the main system that can take it. There is not a problem, you know. So as you can see, now it's getting ready. And if it keeps coming back again, then we can just choose it. We can follow the same procedure until we get into 100%. It would not crash the Windows setup. I can keep guarantee on it for this model, by the way. All right, so still if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I hope you would enjoy rest of the video. And if you do like, please do subscribe to this channel to show your support. Thanks for watching, bye for now.